very happy Ascension Day to you. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today, we recall how he left this earth and returned to his father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his parting from Acts chapter 1 verses 4 to 11. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The prayer that collects up our thoughts for today. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and forever. Amen. A Canticle All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations, who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord, 
Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke, chapter 24, verses 44 to the end. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany and, lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Ascension Day reminds us that we cannot limit God. For while God came to us in the flesh, in the person of Jesus, Jesus' ascension reminds us that we can't restrict God to any one place. Jesus' ascension then isn't about his leaving his disciples, us, the world, but rather it is about the simultaneous confession that both God has chosen to be located in our physical world so that God may be accessible to us and God refuses to be limited even to those important places. No building, no people, no book, no religion even can limit God's ability to be accessible to others. The ever-wise Richard Raw reflects on our inability to limit God. His two injunctions to us this day and every day is keep God free and keep people free for God. So I pray for us this day that we would recognise our inability to limit God and that we would keep God free and keep people free for God. Amen. And so we declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. This we have received and this we believe. Amen. And so we'll pray. We pray for God to fill us with his spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. Lord, we come, Lord, please come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Lord, Come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the healing 
of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work which you have given us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit, given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. Lord, come to us and bless us and fill us with your Spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your Spirit. Hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we listen to your word, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your empowering, make us ready for your coming spirit. May the spirit who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Amen.